Show. You tuned in to Gorilla Cross Radio. Welcome to Let the Ball Bounce. This your host, Dre Bailey. And this your man, Goose Thomas, on the keys. We got special guests <laughs> in the building. <laughs> Bill Logan. Yeah. Yeah, man. Hey. I got the controversial. Yeah. Stripped. Ooh. No, you no, didn't. No, no, no. Because you no, are Mr. Controversy no, himself. No, no, and no. <laughs> Go ahead and keep playing them keys, though. Yeah. No. Mm, 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 keep playing mm, them keys, mm, man. Mm, 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 mm. Let the ball bounce sports talk radio show, man. Every Saturday, man, 2 p.m. Pacific Coast time to 3.30 p.m. Pacific Coast time. Yes, also sir. a new night, man, Tuesday, 6 p.m. Yes, to 7.30 p.m. We are here to give you guys your sports fix. Yes. Best sports talk radio show in the land. Yeah. Your guy, Dre Bailey. Your man, Goose Thomas. Mr. Controversy himself, Bill Logan. Yeah, man. This is what we do, man. Yeah. We give you guys the best of sports talk radio, man. Every Saturday again. Yeah. Like, well, I got to keep saying it. Though. You have to say it, man, because people forget. It makes no sense. <laughs> I, I look, I don't understand why. Makes but no people sense. still forget. Makes no, makes no yeah. sense. Yeah, man. Download that Gorilla Cross app on your phone, yes, man. Sir. It's super easy. Go to your Play Store, download the Gorilla Cross app. Uh, Gorilla spell quite different. Yes, it is. Uh, G U E R I L L A. Yes, G U E R I L L A. Cross. Follow us at Let the Ball Bounce at Sports Talk. I mean, uh, Let the Ball Bounce on uh, on Twitter. Yeah. And that's with one, one T. T. Also, Let the Ball Bounce on uh, Facebook. Yeah. Heavy. Always Heavy. live and popping. Heavy. Always. Heavy. Know your sports. I started a conversation at 1.30 this morning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did, or was it yesterday morning? When I when I went on my rant about Robert Ory. Yeah. I think that was yesterday morning. Mm. Yeah. 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 I, I, I couldn't take it anymore. So 1.30 in the morning is yeah. when I felt like doing it. Yeah. Who sparked it up? I, uh, nobody. Nobody. He I just, sparked it up I himself. Oh. I just I just said, you know what? Oh. I'm tired of this. Yeah. yeah. What was the question? Give people uh, to think is, something is to think Is Robert Ory a Hall of Famer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've talked about it before. And the answer is no. No, no. he's not. Gr- great role player. Hall of Fame and role player, we have to understand, are two different things. Oh, we yeah. have to be able to separate that. As as fans of sport, we have to be able to separate role player from great players that meant everything to their ball club. Byron Scott was a role player. Great role player. Kurt Rambis was a great, great role, role player. player. J.R. Smith, role player. Role player. Clay Thompson. Role player. Yeah. Morris Cheeks. Is he role, a role player. player. But he got in. But he though. got in though. Because he was a he excelled at the point guard I, I position I, at at role player. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Speaking of Mo Cheeks, man, that mm-hmm. has he, he was inducted into the uh, NBA Hall of Fame yep. just recently. Mm-hmm. Just last week. Uh, along with yeah, along yeah. with uh J Kidd and Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stevie Nash. Yeah. Yeah. But his Hall of Fame speech, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Broke me down and breaks me down yeah. every time I watch it. Yeah. The most heartfelt speech of all, to me, just wow. He said, here comes the difficult part, talking yeah. about my mama. Yeah. yeah. And when he, he started talking about his mama, sure he, couldn't hold, he couldn't hold it. He couldn't hold it, man. Couldn't. Great, and, man. And, and, and I probably would have done the same. Oh, yeah. We all probably would have did the oh, same. Oh, no doubt yeah. about it. Yeah. It's not even a question. Yeah. 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 It's no debate. Yeah. No doubt about that. Ridiculous, man. No doubt about that. She's the real MVP. No question. LT Mama gotta be the real MVP. When street lights come on. Yeah. She said, uh, Y'all better get up in here. (laughs) In here. (laughs) In here. Right now. Here. ASAP. Download the Gorilla Cross app on your phone, man. This is what we do, man. We give you guys the best sports talk in the land, man. Look, we got a lot of sports to talk to you guys about, man. We got baseball. Got a little bit of golf, Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods is is leading today. Yeah, he's actually been Tiger Woods of late. Yeah, they must have gave him his old burner phone back with the holes in it. I'm okay with that. I'm good with that. 
I have no quarrels with him having his bat phone. No. None. We got some baseball to talk about. A lot of college football scores to give you guys, man, and, of course, the NFL. But we're going to start off, man, uh, with uh, how was your week? Oh, man, not too bad. Uh, work, worked a little bit. Um, uh, you know, knocked out a day of overtime, man. Today we have uh, the, the, the Cops and Curls, um, you know, event at the, uh, the Lions Club. The Cops uh, and Curls? Yes, Cops and so Curls. So you guys giving out like curl bags or like you no, guys no, actually no, doing no, the curls no, or is it no, like no, no. weightlifting what, what 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 it <laughs> what it Hawaiian is silky curl the Hawaiian boxes si- the pro line <laughs> you know I'm a pro line guy okay yeah uh but no we uh it, it's where we where we where we go out and you know we have you know a lot of we'll, we'll say underprivileged you know young ladies that live in you know not so great situations okay and we give them like a little mini prom night Oh, that's dope. You know what I'm saying? We we as you know as as law enforcement officers, we go out and we you know we just hang out with them. You know, give them give them the little tiaras. You know, they got fresh dresses dope, and dope. you know give them give them gift bags. You know, when we when we when we leave out of the building, man. So it's it's a it's a real good event, man. This is our third year yeah. doing cops and curls, man. So yeah. uh, I think maybe you yeah. guys should. Uh, uh, and, and I don't know who could be in charge of this, but maybe partner up with the uh, some of the WNBA players that stay in town, mm. and maybe they can. Uh, be dope. Maybe they can get involved in, in, in things like that. I think that'll be dope. I actually yeah. do. Yeah, man. Shout out to Bolden Area Command, uh, Miss Regina Coward, um, always doing her thing. She just retired, um, you know, a couple months ago, man, but she's still heavily active. She actually still is our uh, national, our our local Nevada chapter, right. uh, Black Police Association right. president. So. Um, shout out to her, man, for for always being on her on her game, man. Yeah, always. That's my godmother right there, yeah. man. We appreciate er- we appreciate everybody chiming in, man. We got people in New York, man, uh, yeah. Long Beach, Atlanta, Chicago, uh, the Bay Area, uh, Southern California, L.A., uh, and we appreciate everybody who's behind those walls, man, that yeah. are listening to yeah. LTBB. Big big ups sure. uh, and big shout out to my cousin Jamillion, who's been in that thing since he was thirteen, man. Wow. Mm. Wow, cold peace, man. Wow, yeah, it's 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 uh, tough, man. Big up, big ups to Suge Knight, who's listening right now. Yeah, shout out to you'll be able man. to listen to us for the next twenty eight. Yeah, yeah, at least that's the bargain he took, right? Twenty eight yeah. years. Yeah, that's a bargain. Though? That's that was the bargain. Yeah, did he have more on the table? Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. When you can when you can plead down to twenty eight years, that's crazy. You had at least sixty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Dog. When you at can 50, plead down at fifty one, I'm yeah. gonna tell you this, man. Yeah. Dre Day would not be the same Dre mm-hmm. Day if mm-hmm. I ever got that much time. Mm-hmm. Don't come visit me or nothing. I'm <laughs> not gonna be the same dude. I'm not gonna even talk the same. Look, the same. I'm just for the tran. I'm gonna be a transformer. Of course you won't. <laughs> Transform. Mm. Period. No doubt. No if you think you're it. tough, try that tough go. Uh, that tough guy act yeah. behind them walls. Mm. See how that work out for you. Yeah. Change your life. See how yeah. that work out for you. Well, my week uh, uh, ended sad. Mm-hmm. We had to lay to rest the uh, young man, Dalvin Brown, uh, yeah, man. Uh, from Canyon Springs High School yeah. here in Las Vegas. Made national news. Yep. Uh, being killed at school. Uh, and they found uh, his 16-year-old killer uh, the day of the funeral service uh, yesterday. Killer. Accused. 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 Yeah, Accused. you got it. You got it. Got to put that in there. Yeah, yes. accused. He's accused. Yeah. Alleged. 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 Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. If he didn't do it, he gonna tell on somebody. Oh no oh, question. Yeah. Oh yeah. As you should. No question. That interrogation room is it's, a mother. it's a monster, ain't it? It's a mother. Ooh, that padded room is special. Yeah. We just talked about how you know how tough people act yeah. outside, but mm-hmm. when they get behind them bars, mm-hmm. we see how you know how the, how the going gets tough. Yeah. Uh, and also. How a lot of people walking the streets right now enjoying their life, enjoying their kids that say they don't like snitches and, and wouldn't mm, snitch, but mm. uh, let you start facing mm. a murder rap. Mm. Mm. And see how many oh, people you tell on. Oh my, how the tables turn. The you tables may you may turn. tell on people that you didn't even know you knew, like <laughs> uh, 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 old I, McDonald I, did yeah, it. I, what? I, I had heard, what's the name, had some bodies on him. What? Oh, old what? McDonald. What old are McD- you talking about? Old McDonald. That, that him away. did it. Him did it. Him mm. did it over there. Because let me you tell you stop. this, man. Anybody come to my house asking me any questions, I'm giving out addresses and Boy, phone numbers. That's crazy. 
Oh, you talking about so and so? Oh, oh man, yeah. he stayed right off of yeah. Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> off of Carrie, though. And Pecos. <laughs> He's right in that area. Right by the college. Right there. <laughs> Carrie and Pecos, right on the other side, on the same side, the boys and uh oh, boys oh, and girls. Club. Over there. Yeah, over there. Mm. <laughs> In apartment number C. Ooh, not the, and not his granny part. name is Pearl. Yeah. I'm telling. <laughs> you can find her at Second Baptist oh, oh, oh. every first Saturday oh, man. and Sunday. Oh, man. That's tough, G. <laughs> that is tough. <laughs> That's tough. Ridiculous, oh, man. man. It is. Yeah. It These is. kids are getting younger and younger, man. Sucks. We got to do something, man. Yeah. Yeah. What can we do? What can we do? To uh, to help the tutelage, bro. I, starts at home. These young first. men. Oh, no it question. starts, starts at home, at home no first. Question. It starts at home first. Number one. No, we- no matter if your mother or your father is in the home, mm-hmm. parents have to take responsibility. You have for to truth. take responsibility. Child, truth. You just can't let them roam the streets, roam around, yeah. aimless. You know, no. But let me tell let me tell you, me tell you mean, when I was a kid, man, we roamed the streets. I'm not even gonna lie. Mm-hmm. We roamed the streets yeah. and we was doing but we did it in a group and we also were playing basketball or football or it was literally just sports. It wasn't nothing outside of that. If I'm telling you, if if you ran into me and my crew in elementary, junior high, and high school and we were out, it was nothing but sports. Exactly. When, I'm talking say, about it was sports to the point where, yeah. you know, we in high school and it's like we can either go mess with some girls yeah. or we hooping somewhere on the dunk courts. Yeah. We choose <laughs> dunk courts all day at that time. Yeah. We did, too. Yes, we did. We walked to different neighborhoods to play different neighborhoods. For sure. Yeah, the the, the, the dunk courts in, 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 in the north was, was Colonel McCall. You know what I'm Those saying? All the dunk courts yeah. for us. Yeah. On, on, on Donna, man. <laughs> and, uh. You know that that's what we did. We played we played pickup baseball. Yeah. Now, for anybody that know the game of baseball, you gotta have at least eighteen people out yeah. there to play, right? Let me ask you this: What kind of ball did y'all use? We used the real baseball. Okay. Yeah, we, we used tennis ball back in our yeah, days. Yeah, we used the real baseball. Well, I lived in a cul de sac, so we had to use a tennis. The ball. stick ball. Yeah, right. With yeah. tennis ball, of course. We had to of use course. a tennis ball. It was a hard yeah. ball would have broke somebody's foot. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, we played with a tennis ball. We lived in a cul de sac. Yeah. And you know, we didn't have we didn't have uh. It was just me, my brother, another guy that lived in, and we played like four on four baseball. Yeah, mm-hmm. but at least, mm-hmm. you know, that's yeah. We that's talking what about we did. the street. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and that's Man. what we did. Man. And then we played football. We, you know, gather up some other dudes, play at Mabel Hogard, go to another neighborhood and play. But that's what we did. We were outside, being active. Yeah, being active. It's so many kids up not and being down. grimy. No, You're right. It's so, it's so many kids up and down my street, man. And on a beautiful day like today, uh, you can't find one kid outside. Because guess where they at? In the house, on that young uh, Xbox, hmm. PlayStation, that young computer, that phone, Twitter. Hmm. <laughs> what happened? Remember back in the day, you go to your homeboy house, it'd be like 50 bicycles outside. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, everybody at his house. Yeah, you can't find uh, do, that do no more. Do kids even ride their bikes anymore? Like for real? Right. Like I can't. I can't. I see none in my neighborhood, bro. It, it's it's crazy. Like the kids don't. Like kids don't play outside anymore. Nah. We have video games. Yeah, we, oh, play, we, we played, played Nintendo. We played Atari sh- for sure. We played Sega Genesis. Yeah, Super Nintendo. All of that. What what was that? Coleco Vision? Coleco Vision. We yeah. had it all. Yeah. But we still found time to go outside. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Even if it was pole to pole. Yeah. Pole to pole. Pole to pole. Go We're outside. outside. Go outside. Um, and you better not come back in the house. Don't come back in. You can't be making trips in and out. No. Of house. Nah, that, no. That, I'm telling you, that's one thing my granny Drink said. Drink out that water hose. Better get out that water hose. <laughs> 
Drink the water. I'm thirsty. Drink out of the water hey, hose. The, hey, the water hose water was so crispy, <laughs> so though, wasn't it? Crispy and cold. <laughs> so crispy, though. Woo. Oh, my goodness. We, it probably wasn't good for you. But it was back so then, crispy. it was good. Back, back in then. my day, it was good. Yeah, back then. Okay. I, don't do it now. Yeah, don't do it now. No. No. My granny, so on, my my granny on Donna, we leave the house at 9 a.m. She said, don't come back in this house, boy. <laughs> don't come back here. What? What do you mean? What you mean? Don't come back. put me out yeah. at 8. Yeah, I just got put out just now. Yeah. <laughs> If you came back in the house, you ain't going back out. And you sitting there watching Ooh, that's yeah. young and the restless. <laughs> All the stories. The stories. The story. One life to live. All of them. General Hospital. <laughs> Man, I'm All going to take children. a nap. All my I'm kids. going to take a nap to dinner. Yeah, this is ridiculous. <laughs> what we I, left not, the house. We left the house at 9 a.m. And we got in just a shade at least 10 minutes before them street lights came on. Yeah, we man. timed it perfectly. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Saturdays, man. If it wasn't if it wasn't baseball season, mm-hmm. you know, we played our baseball games on Saturdays. If it wasn't baseball season, hey man, yeah, go on somewhere. Yeah, make sure them good young chores are done. Oh yeah, first. oh you got to make sure that's done before you leave. Them good young chores. Yeah, <laughs> and when I but say other than you, that, yeah, yeah. And when they done, okay, go y'all ahead. go. We'll holler at you. Yeah, and to all the listeners out there, we are dead serious. Yeah, no, when this we is not said, a game. When we said we left at nine a.m., that means we had to get up at six. Mm. And have all them chores done yep. just so we can be out by nine. Yep. I left the house with a dollar fifty in my pocket. Yep. I knew that I could always, if I got hungry or thirsty, stop by the candy lady house yes. and pick me up uh, a freeze cup, yeah. a couple of Charleston chewies, yeah. a couple of bags of them hot a, fries, a, and maybe a pickle. Maybe. Yeah. Throw that Jolly Ranch in the middle of it. Yeah. Maybe. Do, do y'all remember the, the, the Chico sticks? Do y'all remember Chico Johnny the Fruit Man? Johnny the Fruit Man. He had the big white truck and he had the freshest fruit. He used to come around um, in the neighborhood. Mm. Okay, but what neighborhood did he used to yeah, come he to? He didn't come to the north, I don't think. Yeah, he what? did. Did he come to the north? He might, yeah. he yeah. might have. Man, Johnny came. It's he was possible. a white man. He went everywhere. It's possible. He it's went possible. everywhere. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Johnny the Fruit Man had every everything. Yeah, man. Yes, indeed. Well, yeah. Jose, Jose the Fruit Man, it, you can find him in, at any corner right now. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. You can find you can find him at Chase Bank. Yeah. yeah he be good, in the parking lot at Chase yeah, Bank. That good, good watermelon and good uh, oranges. And them good oranges, though. Yeah. Oh, oh, they're so good. <laughs> them good mangoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I done bought a bag from him. <laughs> mangoes. I done bought a bag of fifty. <laughs> Get on up out of here with my fruit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. That seemed. I miss man. those days, man. I miss them, man. Yeah. I miss them a lot. Yeah, absolutely. It's let's the get these. Let's 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 get back active in these kids' lives, yeah, man. man. And uh, yep. uh, let's try to just show them something different, man. Because we don't want to keep seeing uh our kids being killed in the streets. <sighs> Makes no sense. Uh, violently more, the way. More positive things for these kids too. Yeah. That's that's another thing, you yeah. know, because that idle time is not good. Yeah. For yeah. a lot of kids. Not at all. Yeah. It's not good for any if, child, really. No, no. I mean, even if even if they on their P's and Q's, man, you, yeah. you still they still gotta be kept busy. Yeah. Yeah. If you're in the downtown area, man, come down here, man. It is super packed. Super active. At least down here. bring you uh twenty to forty bucks to pay for parking uh <laughs> while you're down here. But life is beautiful. Life is beautiful is here, man. Uh I had to I had to park, you know, a little further down the street. Mm-hmm. You know, make the little half mile walk or whatever it was, man. No, no, no issues, man. But uh, <laughs> look, look, that's what I was gonna pay for parking. <laughs> <laughs> the young dice money. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, life is beautiful. Is here, man. Uh, anybody that's that's here, you know, from out of town, that's in town, uh, be safe out here. Um, it's you know, wacky there, down yeah, here. Yeah, there are checkpoints. Yeah. Yeah. So please be aware. Um, if, if you're driving, man, it, it, please, it, if you're coming down here, just don't drive. Yeah. Like Uber, Uber, Lyft, right. it's wide open. Like th- this is where th- those people make their money. Take one. Yeah. Simple. T- get in a Lyft, get in an Uber, man, and, and, and remain safe. Not only for you, but more importantly, your family, man. For sure. Yeah. For sure, man. A couple of college scores to give you guys real quickly, man. Yeah. Uh, in the uh, second quarter of that Texas TCU game, mm-hmm. Texas yes. ten, number seventeen TCU six. Ooh. It was a close game, man. Halftime in that South Carolina 
Vanderbilt game yeah. in South Carolina with that twenty to fourteen lead. That's that, that's that was lined up to be an actual good game because really well, the, the SEC, a yeah, the SEC didn't really have any have any real solid matchups this week. But you know, you listen in, you know, you listen to other, you know, other avenues. You listen to other people talk, and, and that was one of the games that was pinpointed. Right. Yeah. Arizona, man, number fourteen. Uh, Arizona up against number seven, Oregon State, man. Mm. Um, not number seven, but it's uh in the second quarter, fourteen to seven. Yeah. But uh, Connecticut, Syracuse, mm. second quarter, man. Connecticut, fourteen, Syracuse, thirty-one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, number yeah. one, Alabama playing against Texas A&M, man, thirty-one to thirteen. Yeah. Now they I should mean, dispose of them. Not, yeah, I, it looks like yeah. they're yeah they should they're, dispose they're of them. young Jimbo pull Fisher away them. again. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna happen. Wow, man, Baylor. Uh, twenty-three zero third quarter against Kansas. Yeah, Kansas is not a good football no, team. No. no, West Virginia twenty-one to zero against yeah, Kansas State. State. Yeah. In that Clemson game, man, number three Clemson thirty-five to seven Georgia yeah. Tech in that third quarter, man. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, the rambling wreck of Georgia Tech. Yeah, yeah, man. And college really football up. fan. Yes, indeed, man. It's college on all yes, the way until twelve o'clock tonight. Yes, yes sir. It is. Yes, sir. Yes, indeed. Watched that man. USC game uh, the other night, man. Yeah. up against yeah. uh, Washington. Uh, yeah. And wow, yeah. man, that was yeah. a good game mm -hmm. to start out with. But Washington just pulled away, man. Yeah, yeah Wazoo, Wazoo uh, is 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 tough, man. They kind of go under the radar a little uh, bit, man, do. because they were a doormat for so long yeah. uh, in that Pac-12 uh you know conference and uh you know once you once you start to to actually get some players with some talent and you know you get a lot of guys from the from the Spokane area that that make the trek you know uh, uh, across the way um to 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 Wazoo man and uh they end up having a good a good a good program there man I like their quarterback man he's uh he's pretty good he is their good quarterback and, is pretty good USC's man. uh freshman quarterback he did okay yeah you know what I'm saying yeah. I think they expect big bigger things from him, uh, but Washington men in that Pac-12 man, like you said, they have been always under the radar, yeah. and that's another school that because it definitely won't be USC. Yeah, yeah, right. but they definitely get a lot of fight on though the uh, Southern California kids. Yeah, if the Southern California kids aren't going to UCLA, uh, USC, Stanford, yeah. or yeah. or uh, Oregon. Washington They're is coming definitely up to the University on, of Washington. on their radar. Yeah, yeah and uh, ASU actually tonight plays against the University of Washington up there in Seattle. Yeah. That should be a good game. I'm Herm really is, interested to see Herm what Herm does. Crew. Yes. Herm, Herm, Herm and the crew, man. Herm. Yeah, yeah. they dropped out of the top 25 with that loss last week, man. But I, uh, I, I expect them to go up there and play really, really hard up in the great Northwest, man. So yeah. we should see. We'll see. They got screwed last week. Yeah, I think so, too. I watched that. Yeah. I was like, uh. Yeah. Yeah. Herm was walking with his mouth open. Like, yeah, like, what the? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like Herm, though, yeah. man. I thought maybe he should have had another shot in the NFL. But right now, it looks like he's yeah, doing he's, pretty good. Like yeah, he's, like he's content. You know, you, you, get, <clears throat> you get to control a program, you know, that. Is I he mean, better than Lane Kiffin? As a head coach, sure, sure, <laughs> sure he is, sure he is. <laughs> He's definitely better than Lane Kiffin as a head coach. But I mean, you you get to control a program that I mean, as far as the Pac-12 goes, really isn't so storied. Yeah, you know, it's not on the level of a of a USC, UCLA, even a even a Washington to a, to a degree. Right. But um, you you get to control a program that's had has some big time players come through it and that people know about mm -hmm. and. He's he's taking a ball club, like I said, that was that was a little bit under the radar, and he's made him radar worthy. Yeah, he has he has a great defense over there. Yeah, he does. He has an excellent defense over there. Excellent defense at, at uh, ASU. So yeah, that's we'll his, see, that, man. That's his forte. Yes, defense. it is. Yes, it so, is. You know. Yes, it is. We got yeah, some man. NBA news. Yeah, man. Guys. Yeah, man. Uh, Michael Jordan uh, donated two million dollars to the uh, Hurricane Florence relief. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so today they were out there uh, packing food boxes and things like that, uh, along with some of the players from the uh, Hornets. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a good look. And 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 I want to bring this up to say people need to stay out of millionaires' pockets. In this case, billionaire. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Stay out, of, stay, stay out of the pockets, man. Michael Jordan's been catching a lot of flack yeah. for only 
donating two million dollars. Yeah. But yeah. how many? How much money have you don- yeah. donated? Donated yeah. though? Are, are you, you out give? there passing out water? What did you give? Where you at? Yeah, where's your time? Because last time I checked, two million dollars was still a lot of money lot in of 2018. It's a lot of bread. It's life changing. That's life changing money. Look. Somebody say, "Here, Dre, here's two million dollars. You don't owe it back to me." Do what you must with it, man. I Look, would do this show donation. satellite from uh, from Hawaii. Yeah, no question. That's not the only donations that <laughs> catch me in every week. They're getting every week. That's yeah. not the only donations that they're getting right at all. That adds right. on to what yeah. is being donated. Sure. So how much well, has Trump gave? Mm. Yeah, because of him. Because because he's not down yeah. there packing boxes right now. Yeah, no. But he him, got time enough to 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 tweet to tweet about it. Yeah. According to him, though, this is from a water standpoint. This is the. <laughs> This is the most water I've seen from a water standpoint. What an idiot! That's that's that that was that was what he said. Yeah, from a water standpoint, this is the wettest hurricane I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's been a lot of dumb statements out there lately. That is ridiculous. That is that, that makes the that makes Michael Jordan's "The ceiling is the roof" quote look like some Shakespearean Dude. stuff. Uh, it's it's you can't even you can't even come close. Well, that's what he's doing, man. Big ups to Michael Jordan and the Charlotte Hornets out there, man. Yeah. Doing what they can to make their he community better. He should have given better. more. Man, yeah, stop it's it. crazy. Come on, man. He's a he's a billionaire. Two I don't care, man. Yeah. If I was a billionaire and I gave $2 million, you mean to tell me that you're going to look down upon yeah, me for that's that? That's crazy. That's crazy. How? Like I said, people get exhausting after a while. Yeah, man. It's ridiculous. Unbelievable stuff. Unbelievable. Let me also tell you what's unbelievable. Your guy, Jimmy Buckets, Mm, mm. (laughs) has a meeting with the Minnesota Timberwolves owners Yeah, and says, I want to be traded Mm. to three teams. Mm -hmm. The Clippers, which is historically one of the worst basketball franchises of all time. Dating back to the (laughs) Buffalo Braves. (laughs) No, they were actually good when they were in Buffalo. Let me they were actually okay. Well, uh, Bob McAdoo and them. The right. New Jersey mm-hmm. Nets. You can still call them the Jersey Nets. Yeah. yeah because they that's the what Jersey. they play like. <laughs> I don't even know why where, they moved them. Where careers go to die. <laughs> and the New York Knickerbockers. Yeah. yeah. Right there, that tells me that this guy right right now. Does not really care about winning. No, he just wants to get his chippers. Yeah. Well, he was gonna get them regardless, but I mean, and this has been discussed before when when you have NBA players that really don't care about winning. So to a degree, you are absolutely correct, uh, because I mean we're seeing it right now in front of us. You just mentioned. He wants to go to the Clippers, the Nets, the Knicks. And no disrespect to those no, those, those no, franchises. No disrespect oh. at all. No, and no disrespect no. to you wanting to get your chippers. Yeah. At all. No, not at all. But the game is not about winning right now. Because there's really no... If you look at, at basketball historically over the last, what, 20 years? Mm-hmm. Where's the parity? Is there any parity in the NBA? Really? How many different winners have we had? When has there ever been parody? There's never yeah. been parody. I'm I'm just speaking in 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 modern time because you know I'm a lot. Just, of, I'm going yeah. back to my to my days back yeah. in the in the mid '70s when sure. I first watched it. Sure. I, still, I first started watching. It. Sure. All the way up until now. Right. When has there ever There's been parody? There's really been no parody. Tragic. It's the National Basketball Association as we know it. So let's through break. the '80s, who was it? Who who was it? It, it was it's the Celtics Lakers. Lakers. Celtics Lakers. That's it. Celtics Lakers. Now we had a little bit. Yeah, in the nineties, throw, throw, throw a few teams in you there. You know, Utah. It was yeah, it was Chicago, yeah, yeah. but it, it was, was Chicago, Utah, yeah. Detroit, Detroit. No, well, no. yeah, Detroit. Uh, Troy snuck in there. Then uh, you know, uh, Seattle for yeah, a little bit, yeah, right? Um, you know, but then, but for the most part, yeah, mm. no parody. Never been no parody. Never no parody. So when when we hear Jimmy Butler, you know, talk talk like this. I mean, can we really be all the way upset at him? No. Well, n- let me ask you this though. That's what he wants. Let's That's break. Want. Let's let's break it down. Let's break it down just a tad bit further. Him going to the Los Angeles Lakers. Mm-hmm. 
what would the loss i mean the clippers the what would the clippers need in order to make them competitive in the west more than him <laughs> definitely more than him now is yeah. he a role player no, or is no, he a Jimmy, star John, player? Jimmy Butler's no, a, Jimmy Butler's no. a, he's a star. No. See, we no. have to be we have to he's we have to be option. careful. He's a first well, option careful. guy. We have to be careful how we use star and superstar, though. I'm not gonna say superstar. I'm saying he's star. A, he's, he's a, a star first option guy. No, no question. Yeah, and he's a star in the under, league. Under star. Yeah, yeah. You don't put the R yeah. all the way in it. Yeah. Okay, so the yeah. R it almost looks like a P. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but he's a perennial all star though. He yeah. gets, he gets yeah. in the All-Star game. Yeah. Well, so did Ben Baker. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the All-Star uh, game, in my opinion, I yeah, mean, yeah, I, tomato, yeah. tomato, whatever. Yeah. I it's, you got to put somebody there. You got to put, put somebody, you gotta put somebody yeah. in that spot. Yeah. Okay. Well, let, let's just say he goes over to the Nets. What do they need in order to make them competitive? <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. They need, they need Moses to part the – Part the red seat. Wow! They? Yeah, they need them. They need that boy to lay his staff down, man. <laughs> Let him walk through. Just, I'm just being honest, man. They, who does the Nets have right now? But if you look, if you look at the, if you look at it, if you look at it, he's trying to go to big cities. He don't want to stay in Minnesota. Okay. Right. So he, he, if he figures, New Jersey. He goes I mean, LA, not New Jersey, but the Nets. Yeah. Well, it's New York. Yeah. 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 New York. Yeah, the Buffalo Bills of the New York uh, area. Gotcha. Yeah. Sp- yeah. Spencer Dinwiddie is their yeah. best player. Yeah. 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 Most people don't know who Spencer Dinwiddie is. Great basketball player, though. Excellent I like basketball him. player, though. I but like Most him. people don't even know who he is. Yeah. But it's Spencer Dinwiddie. Yeah. Knicks. Yeah. Porzingis. Got Chris Stapps. Mm-hmm. You can go over there and make, make possibly yeah. make something happen. Yeah, you can make a little bit happen. Okay. Can make a little noise. Maybe, maybe Kyrie. Maybe depends. We'll see. To me, I think I'm gonna tell you now. If Kyrie leaves this Boston Celtics team after this year, um, that tells me furthermore that he really doesn't really care about winning either. No. Because if he stays with this Celtics team, they got a chance they'll reach win. the NBA Eastern Conference Finals yeah, every, year. every year. I don't yeah. see nobody beating don't that see nobody beating. squad. I don't see nobody keeping them from getting to the NBA Finals, really, in the East. And I mean, that's if what you really want to Like, if you want to throw, I ain't going to say throw because they're actually a, a, a well-put-together team with, with the Philadelphia 76ers, but if you want to throw them in the mix, I still don't think at this stage right now, I, I just think they're too young that they can do anything with that Boston Celtic team at this juncture right yeah. now. I don't think they can do anything with that Celtic team as long as they're together, as long as they're healthy. I don't. Maybe well, maybe, from, maybe in a few years. Yeah. He's from that area. Yes, he's from Jersey. So he might yeah. just want to go back and play yeah. home. Yeah. Can we fault him for that? Not at all. That's Not what Stephon Marbury wanted to do. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, can't, he wanted can't to be go mad. back and play for the Knicks. Can't be mad. He didn't say That's what Carmelo wanted yeah. to do. Yeah. Wanted yeah. to go back and play yeah. for the Knicks. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Can't, can't be all the way mad at these dudes. That's but. what the best uh, uh, shooting guard in Knicks history in Allen Houston. Uh, <laughs> and that and that is what and that is what their <laughs> and that is what their players association did. They said we're going to work for you guys to have the freedom to go where you want to go. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Wow. And they've done it. Yeah. Well, the reason that the Clippers were brought up because it's reported that. Kawhi Leonard uh, may want to go and play for them young Clippers mm. after this year in Toronto. Yep. If that's the case, man, Toronto needs to trade him and get something yeah, for him. They need to get something for him. If that's if that's the talks, yeah, before that July one deadline, they need to get something going. I would be really surprised well, if Kawhi Leonard. We know Leonard's Toronto. Day. Toronto isn't where he wants to be. Right. Do we know that? Oh yeah. He doesn't. He doesn't want to be there. Well, he's uh, that's what. Uh, now, he's if you would have asked me that play. two years ago about Paul George, I would have been like, "Man, he ain't for the stand." Okay, okay. Mm. Well, he surprised me. I'm just speaking on Kawhi. He wants to be in L.A. But he don't want to be with the Lakers though, because he want to. Well, he want to play. He don't want to play with LeBron, because that is a lot of chatter well, too. All, all that's all that's talk. We don't. Yeah, know. That's talk. 
Yeah. yeah, we don't we don't know that for sure. He hasn't said that. So but he wants to be in LA. Mm-hmm. Now, when he chooses after this season the team he's going to go to yeah. in LA, that'll determine where he really, really wanted to be. Hmm. And if it's the Clippers, oh well. Jimmy Buckets does not want to be in Minnesota no more. I mean, could and it be Tim's the, gonna play hardball with him. It's Tim's could, like, uh, you will play here. But could it be the coach? He team. skipped media day today, mm-hmm. and the owner from Minnesota did uh, come out and say that, you know, they are willing to trade Jimmy Buckets. Mm-hmm. You trade him, trade him to L.A., trade him to the Clippers for Lou Williams. Hmm. Just trade him. Lou Williams, swap it out, fix up the lit money issue a little bit. And keep it moving. Keep it moving. Yeah. Clippers got them a guy uh, that can put up points just like Lou Williams but play a little bit better defense. Uh, and now Minnesota has a uh, serious scoring option in Lou Williams. With two, with, with two or three more years uh, of that $21 million, uh that he got, uh, which he sh- – to me, he could have got more yeah. uh, playing somewhere else, but he ended up taking that deal. But Lou Williams, your spot with those Clippers is not guaranteed either, especially if Jimmy Buckets wants to go there. Right. Who else do you give up? I mean, exactly. Who, who else do they have Patrick to give Beverly, up? That's the thing. boy, please. That's the thing. You have, you have to put you have to take that into consideration. Who else do they have to give up? Yeah. Who else? Who who wants what they have to give up? Yeah. <laughs> that's that's what you got to look at. You got to look at that. You have to. Wow. So, uh, this fresh off the wire, man. Anthony Joshua, KOs, Povetkin in the fifth round, bro. Wow. Or in the KO. sixth round, excuse me. Yeah. For, for, for those yeah. of you who uh, are tuning in to Let the Ball Bounce Sports Talk Radio, you don't know what KO means. <laughs> Get your mind right, man. It means knocked yeah. out. Seventh round. Sorry. Seventh round knockout. Uh, of, of Povetkin, and this 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 guarantees this sets up uh, the big heavyweight bout. It, 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 this is this is all predicated on um, on uh, Wilder taking care of Fury, Tyson Fury, on December one. This sets up a big time heavyweight bout between those two guys. Yeah, we looking at around April May ish. Uh, probably a little later than that, cause yeah. cause Wilder 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 fights in December, so probably around June, around June, look we're looking at for that for that mega fight. Mm-hmm. Finally, two big time heavyweights will clash. Finally, quality quality heavyweights oh, yeah. will clash. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Anthony Joshua handles handles Povetkin Seventh rather round KO. rather easily. Um, I could tell, man, that that Povetkin just was not in shape at the weigh-in. You can clearly tell he was not in shape at all. And and Anthony Joshua is always in shape. If you've seen this dude, he looks like the uh, the Under Armour mannequin. Mm. <laughs> He's always in shape, bro. Always. Not the H and M mannequin. Not the H and M mannequin. That gotcha. Under Armour mannequin, though. Gotcha. That's what the dude looks like. Six six, probably two sixty. Solid. That's super solid. That's super solid, bro. Yeah. And uh, he, he came in and, and handled business. Congratulations. So. Yeah. Frank Frank Bruno was built nice, too. Yeah, he yeah. was. Yeah. Frank, Frank Bruno. Bruno and yeah. used to take them knockouts. <laughs> used to eat <laughs> knockouts. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> Frank Bruno, man. LGBB crew yes, in the sir. building, man. Finish out basketball, man. Uh, Dwayne Wade announced his retirement yep. uh, about a week and a half ago. Yeah. And uh, how do you feel about it? Because I know you feel a little different than than me. I, I just and we discussed it to a little bit uh, of a degree last show. Um, it, it seems as though when he was making his announcement, it seemed like it was forced. Like it, it didn't seem. I'm not gonna say he would he wasn't genuine about it, but it just seemed like it was something that he had to do. Like. I got to do this. No, you really didn't. <laughs> but it just seems the way that he was he was 
you know, portraying and coming across. Like he was repeating a lot of words. He sounded fumbled. He was he well, was kind of all didn't, over the place a he little. Didn't, mm-hmm. He didn't. It wasn't scripted. Let's right. just go ahead and put sure, that out sure, there. Sure, sure, yeah, sure. It was it completely. Absolutely. From the heart. Sure. Off the head. Yeah. Uh, some rappers may call it freestyle. Freestyle. Absolutely. Uh, and I didn't have an issue with it. Mm. I thought he just wanted to really sum up his career and let everybody know that this was going to be the last dance. Last One last around. dance. Mm-hmm. And um, I didn't have a problem with it, man. I mean, yeah. Kobe did it. Yeah. I, I just think Ray that Allen if, didn't do it. He no, just, Ray, Ray didn't he do just it. said, yeah, you know just, what, I'm done. He's like, I'm thorough. Tim Duncan. You, you know Tim I'm Duncan, done. a quiet dude anyway. He, yeah. Paul Pierce did. Oh, yeah, Paul Pierce. Yeah, he tried well, to, get his, he tried to get his shot. Yeah. He Tim, went out the back yeah, door. Tim Duncan was like, ah, I'll he holler looked, at y'all. He looked right? to see if anybody yeah. was looking. Yeah, 20, 20 years, I'll holler at y'all. Yeah. <laughs> or 19 years, I'll holler at y'all. He grabbed them corduroy yeah. jeans. He man, wore, man. And B boots. <laughs> and that oversized 4X flannel shirt, button up, uh, no taper. <laughs> he uh, actually dressed better like the last four or five years of his career, though. We got to give him something. Yeah, if that's called better, but yeah, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. You know, he, he, had, he, had, he had done away with the lug boots. At that point. Oh, he graduated. Yeah, he graduated. Yeah, done away with the lug boots. Lugs. Yeah, and actually moved to actual suits. Like, okay, Timmy. We see you, Timmy. <laughs> the bird Which man. Which it us, though. <laughs> hey, man. I, quick story. I was at the, I was at the, at the Palo Verde uh, Faith Lutheran game. Shout out to uh, my, my bros, man. Our bros, uh, Vernon Fox, on a big win against his old alma mater. Uh, they won 48-7. to seven. Out there at Cimarron Memorial last night, uh, Faith Lutheran has some great talent on that team, bro. Yeah. Great talent. Yeah. Um, but a dude shows up to the game at Cimarron in a full seersucker suit. Seersucker. With the fedora. I mean, you just Did casual you on a Friday it? night. With no socks. You just casual on a Friday night at a high school football game hmm. with a fresh three-piece. Hmm. What, what are you doing, sir? What's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> he likes to dress up. I, I I guess, man. Yeah. I guess. God, well, God bless him. Yeah. yeah, he likes to dress up. Saw Dana White out there last night. Okay. Yeah, he came out. Uh, both of his, both of his, uh, his boys. Uh, God bless Mark Cuban. Play it. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Cuban yeah, that, that, shelling out chips. Hey, man. And he gave up ten million. Ten, 10 million. million. Ten million. Yeah. That's probably about half a percent of his net worth. Yeah. Yeah, he wasn't doing things right, like that. but still, ten yeah. million. Ten million. Yeah. That's a lot of money. That's, That's a lot of, a lot of damn That's a lot money. Of bread. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't care what his net worth is. Ten million, 10 million is, is a lot, lot of money. It's a lot of bread. Two million is a lot. Two of million money. is a lot of money. So, ten million is definitely a hey. lot of money. No doubt. No doubt. I mean, it, it, you you as a boss, and and we all love Mark Cuban as an owner. Never had any quarrels with him. Never. Always. You know, respected the way he was a player's owner. Never, never really tried to be rah rah. I'm in charge. He put people in place to do that. And but, and and yeah. I heard playing for that organization, the Mavericks. Yeah, people like sure. Mark Cuban. Yeah, oh, yeah. love him, love him. Oh yeah. But there were some foul things going on. Wow, man. Within that organization, uh, gender discrimination. Gender discrimination. Yeah. Why don't you explain a little yeah. bit about what gender I- I- discrimination uh, is? I mean, when when you have a workplace <laughs> where um, men and women can equally do the same job, mm-hmm. but there is an overwhelming amount of men more than women, like overwhelming, we're talking 85%, 15% type overwhelming when you have that situation for two decades and no women get hired therein lies your problem that is gender discrimination okay now i wasn't in that interview room right but how many women applied there were a qualified well now they, they they just put a new ceo in place black female ceo now there's 47% women to 53% men okay. in the building. In the organization. Yes. So, it, 
I mean, it, 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 it switched up some. Mm-hmm. Well, not some. That's a lot. So, so somebody was somebody did something. I mean, we 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 all know that there 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 are jobs that women that that they probably can do and just not prefer to do. We know that. No 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 question about it. We know that. But when you're talking about, you know, so like let me basically ask you office this. work. So if you're the owner mm-hmm. and you got a program director or manager president whatever that's under you that's in charge of hiring these different type of people yeah uh but you're an owner and you have your hands in other businesses sure can all of the blame well obviously all of the blame is going to go to the owner sure but i don't think mark cuban went into it and say i only want to hire 85 percent men Right. And fifteen percent women. Right. I highly doubt mm-hmm. that he did that. Right. I don't know. Right. Well, I mean, if he applied diversity mm. trainings, mm-hmm. training in in his in his organization, that's another thing. He would have to. Yeah. Because I mean, you come because to, you... that 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 will notice the discrepancy between sure. male and female. So then maybe I should go out for my job and hire more men because there's obviously more women uh, that I've hired at my job uh, than there are men. Mm -hmm. So maybe I should go hire more men so I don't get sued for (laughs) gender (laughs) discrimination. Well, the Dallas Mavericks is a multi-billion dollar organization. So, you know. Yeah, it's... They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna put more light on that, yeah, to make him sure. get it right, sure. And then being a, a, con- a conglomerate million within a conglomerate. dollars, yeah. He could have just said, "Here's a couple million, yeah. here's two million, two and a half million, but ten, yeah, that's ten. a nice tax write off. Ten, yeah. ten of them things, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. You think that'll shut him up though, or no? Nah? Because some people think that he paid the ten million dollars, and he's still not even out of the woods. Mm. I would have to wait till I get out of the woods first, then mm. put some chips up. Sure. Not before. Yeah, because Rachel Nichols uh, uh, had him on the hot seat um, the other day. Um, Rachel Nichols, host of uh, ESPN's The Jump, uh, really had Mark Cuban sweating bullets like. I, I, I'm I'm going out on the limb to say after the show he had to wring his suit out because he might have been sweating that hard. Wow. Yeah, you you can just you can just tell that it it it, it seems as though he wanted to pass the buck, but he couldn't. Right. He simply couldn't with every question because she was running them back to back. Like she wouldn't even let him breathe in between the questions. She was running them back to back. As soon as he answered one, she bring another one. Like she had a, she probably had a script of twenty different questions, yeah, lined up already. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get him with that one. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get him with that mm-hmm. one too. Like he couldn't even take a full breath in between these questions because they were coming back to back to back. And a couple of times he was like, "I don't know." A couple of times that happened during the interview. So you you can you can tell that he probably like like you said, yeah. You know, being an owner and you got your hands in, in so many other things, he probably wasn't paying attention. Now, as an owner of something, you still have to pay attention. You put people you in do. place to pay attention for you. Yeah, but you still, but you still have to pay attention. Yeah, yeah. It's and big I business, think though. it's big. That's big business. Mm-hmm. And and I think he trusted the people that he put in place to pay attention for him. A little bit too much, and that's that is my point exactly. As a <laughs> as an you owner, go. you may hire people yep. to be in certain positions to carry uh-huh. out your vision, right. your dreams right. of how you want your organization or your company ran. Yep. But at the end of the day, just because you're an owner and you're making millions of dollars from whatever business you have, does not mean that you could just walk away 
and just do you and not really pay attention. Yeah. You still have to be actively involved in whatever business that you do. Yeah. yeah. You have to. Yeah. It's a must. And we and we can go we can go as far as let's go back to the Michael Vick situation. It, it's not as as big, but we're talking about home ownership now, yeah. right? So Michael Vick entrusted his cousin with a home that was in his name. Yeah. Right? Now, Michael Vick knew what his cousin did. For sure. There's no question about that. For sure. So you're entrusting a person. You know what they do. You know what kind of lifestyle they lead. But you're still entrusting them with something that has your name on it. Yes. And you're not going to go check on it? That's what happens, man. That's That doesn't. That that's that doesn't even seem logical to me. That's not even logical. Look, there is a lot of things that has my name on it. Yeah. Car, house, yes. businesses, yes. insurance, yes, et cetera. We can go on and on. Yep. Right? Uh I'm going out of town this weekend. Yep. Going to go see my daughter Cookie in Long yep. Beach for Shout the out weekend. Cookie, man. And those of you who know and those of you who don't know, I own uh several businesses and one of them is a funeral home god forbid we cremate the wrong person mm. boy who you think they coming after since my name is on absolutely everything yep hmm. write that check bruh come on now and you will not be happy right now. Let me show. tell you something. I tell my employees that we are one lawsuit away yep. from not having a business. Yep. Just Bottom one. line. Just one. Just one. So there's no room for error. None. You talking about dude, a dude that's worth three billion dollars or more. So ten million was nothing to him to shell out. Mm-hmm. But I bet, I bet just by looking at that interview the other day. I bet he's more cautious now. I bet he spend more time at the office. Yeah. That's a guarantee. Yeah. He's spending more time at the office. It's not, it's not, it's not really about, you know, and I work for the city of Las Vegas. It's not really about, and we go through diversity training. Sure. Sure. Every year. Every year. It's a long ass <laughs> course. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes, it is. And you really just can't narrow it down to, well, he's more qualified. Right. You can't do that. You can't anymore. do that. You can't do it anymore. Cannot do that. You have to actively search yeah. for another gender yeah. that's qualified there has to be it's a yeah. numbers game yeah yeah it is it's a numbers yeah. game yeah it really really is i mean because i didn't see any yeah. females at the uh the gorilla cross studio here uh so <laughs> this is the to all you gender <laughs> equality people out there uh this is the woman we need, ha- we this need the woman a little more club. diverse this is the woman diversity haters club. up in here yeah. <laughs> This is the Woman Haters Club. <laughs> we need someone to clean the studio weekly. <laughs> Whoa. Got him. Whoa. Whoa. I didn't hear that. I can't touch it. I didn't it. hear that. Let me take my headphones. Damn I it. Didn't, I didn't hear that. I cannot touch it. <laughs> look, look, look at me. So, who's playing? That guy right there is who's Mark Quine. He playing? is a part of the unnamed sports show. <laughs> Shout you out can to follow the unnamed them. sports show. You can follow them this coming Monday. Right now. Yes. <laughs> Shout out, man, to the unnamed LTBB crew, crew in the building. Your guy, Dre Bailey. Your man, Goose Thomas. <laughs> and we got the Mr. Controversy himself, Bill yes, Logan. Indeed, we got a man. lot of football to talk to you guys about, man. Yeah. NFL. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Antonio Brown was in the news this week. Of course. Um, for number one, missing practice. And, mm-hmm. and uh, he went on record to say that I have emotions. It wasn't about me asking for the ball more, more touches, more looks. I am a competitor. I want to win. Sure. We're losing right now. We suck. And it doesn't sit well with me. But that absence was unexcused. Mm. So what was the punishment? I don't know. I've I've heard he didn't, he didn't let anybody know he was missing practice. Yeah, yeah. I've heard that they're going to hand down a punishment, but probably with us with us going into an zero and two against Minnesota, there's no suspension that's going to happen. Oh no, 
No. We're talking about practice. No. Nah. No. Nah. No, nah, no, no suspense. Not the game. <laughs> practice. <laughs> I mean, you guys, you guys got Tampa Bay on Monday, man. They're a hot ball club. You need Antonio yeah, it Brown. Is, it is Tampa Bay, you need not Antonio, Minnesota. You need yeah. Antonio Brown for that football it, it, game. We cannot go. We, Fitzpatrick. Yeah. My guy, Fitzpatrick. Yeah. yeah. You, you it's magic. You can't go, you can't go down 0-2. And, and you can't go 0-2-1. Come on, dog. You can't. You just can't. You have to win that, that ball game on Monday That means Cleveland night. right now has a W. Mm-hmm. In their book, yep. they're the better team yeah. right now. Yeah, that tragic. When did you ever thought you were going to say that? Did you ever think you'd say Cleveland was the better team at any point? No. I don't care if it is just for a week. No, and never. I, and and I think in two weeks that's going to change. But <laughs> I picked them Browns too. Yes, you did. Yeah. I didn't. I picked them. I picked them. I didn't. I, yeah. I went with old USC faithful. No, tragic. <laughs> no. No. USC quarterbacks, they just, uh, the Raiders. They, they, anytime oh you God. give one some hope, it just <laughs> – they snatch it back let me from ask you, man. Let me ask you guys this since we're on NFL. Is Tyrod's job still available when he comes back from concussion protocol? It may not be. <laughs> I, I believe – They've been waiting to put yes, that boy at behind center yes, they since they signed him. Yes, they have. They was giving Tyrod Taylor a courtesy starts. Yeah. Yeah. Baker Baker took his job, I think. Already? Yeah. As a head yeah. coach, man, you, you still go with Tyrod. The way the way Baker Mayfield came in and ran that offense. <laughs> yeah. The way he came in and ran that offense and Getting rid of the ball. What well, Tyrod Taylor is back there, patting, patting, yeah. Yeah, running yeah, yeah, yeah. around, yeah. incompletes, mm-hmm. getting sacked, yeah. getting hurt. Yeah, I mean, it was just and, and, yeah. And his started in you the preseason. You put him as the backup now. Yeah, his his Ugh. his his woes started in the preseason. Yeah, uh, when he injured his wrist. And I mean, he he ended up coming back. You know, there was no you know no real structural damage or anything like that. But I mean, we we started to see the cycle. Is Baker Mayfield the troop? Hey, I'd have to see. I, I have to. I have to see a full start from him. I don't say he's the truth. Yeah. Well, uh, let me tell you this. I think start. he Cleveland. should be the starting quarterback for the yeah. Cleveland Browns right now. Cleveland man. Brown fans think that this man is the truth. They seem to think that this is well, the biggest to, win in two years. Well, I they mean, to a lot of quarterbacks with the look, truth. Any, any. If you're, if you're a fan of a franchise that has experienced what the Browns have experienced over the last 40 years, you'd probably be high off of that too. I know I would. I'd be high off of it. The best win in two years? No, no. that's that's probably their, like, that might be their best win in 20. Like, if you're if you're a Cleveland fan. Wow. Like, we I mean, gonna, we're gonna have to go to Cleveland and see what Cleveland. Yeah. You got to think how many quarterbacks they've actually had under center too. Yeah, here in the past decade. I mean, Cleveland fans want some type of consistency, and with your number one pick in Baker Mayfield, they feel that he that that he gives them that consistency. Baker Mayfield caught a touchdown pass, something Tom Brady couldn't do in the Super Bowl. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Oh man! Ouch! <laughs> I mean, when that to me, that is a little bit showing out. When you say, you know what, put Tom, put put Baker Mayfield out there to catch a TD pass. That's a bold call, man, to do that. And if I were, <laughs> if I were uh, the Jets, I would be highly disrespected. Period. Let's just go back a little bit. <laughs> 99. Tim 99. Couch. Let's yes. go. Yeah, let's, Tim let's run Couch. it off. Tim We're Couch. talking about the last 20 years yeah. now. 99. Tim, Tim Couch. Couch. Yeah. He was supposed to I be. I bet you he was supposed to be the truth. No, he was supposed to be the truth. Supposed supposed to be to be the sure. No question. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. Okay, let's go. Uh, to Brady Quinn. To Brady wow. Quinn. 2007. 
Wow. Tragic. Wow. Keep going. Brandon Wheaton. Boy, oh, yeah. stop. Oh, boy. <laughs> and he was he was projected oh, it gets to better. be real it gets, good. It gets yeah. better. Of, when he came out of OK State. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, that gets yeah, better, bro. Folks were on him. In 2014, mm. Johnny, Johnny Manziel. Football. Johnny football. Johnny football. He was supposed to be the truth, too, right? Yeah. Yeah. They didn't have a whole Heisman lot trophy, of- Heisman Trophy. Heisman Trophy. They didn't have a whole lot of possibles. But it looks like they done got no, set. No, for sure. <laughs> looks like they done got set. Yeah. They got, that, they got that Boston ran on they them. They got that Boston ran on them. <laughs> you want, it, can you name at least two more? I did, it, it gets really good. Uh, and this year, Baker Mayfield. Yeah. So that's been their quarterback history in the past 20 years. That's ridiculous. It's been tough. Now, you go, you, you can go with, you know, Willie Green, William Green was supposed to be uh, a good running back. He that didn't that didn't turn out. Mm. The uh, Jailbird, oh. Kellen Winslow oh, Jr. Oh God! But you know what? He was I good. He, he was good. for the Browns. We, we, yeah, he was he, good. I mean, we can date back all the way to college he, for him. He, he was he was okay. He, he right, was good he for was the Browns. At, when yeah. he was at the U, man, he did. Braylon his thing. Edwards. Braylon, Braylon Edwards. Edwards, bro. Wow. Was, yeah. Braylon Edwards. Big wide receiver. Yes, huge. No, uh, Out of Michigan. He was supposed to be a number one. Yes, what happened was. to him? Mm. Okay. Mm. Um, Joe Hayden turned out pretty good. Yeah. Did he? Because yeah, he can't he seem to get okay. healthy. Turned out okay. He yeah, can't I seem mean, to well, get healthy. You guys healthy. picked him up. So, turned out okay. You know. Yeah, uh, And we picked him up not healthy, too. Yeah. <laughs> he was on the injured list, too, when yeah, we picked him up. Turned out okay. Trent Richardson. Trent. Young Trent Richardson. Richardson. Now, now which you want to talk about. probably one of the biggest busts boy, of all time. Boy, you want to talk about somebody <laughs> that was highly coveted? Yeah. Yes. Coming out of Alabama? Yeah. You want to talk about Saquon Barkley 1.0? Yeah. As far from a from a uh from as far as his measurables? Yes. Strength? Boy. Yeah. High on Trent Richardson. Super yeah. high on Trent Richardson. Yeah. Yes, they yeah. were. Yeah. Tragic. Yeah. And he went over to the Colts yeah. and did what? Absolutely, Absolutely nothing. nothing. Tragic. Yes. Out of the league right yeah. now. Yeah. That's tough, man. Yeah. Whew. That is and tough. You look, and you can look at some of the other uh, draft picks uh, after him. Uh, Barcavius uh, Mingo, mm. outside linebacker. Mm. He doesn't play for him. He doesn't play for him anymore. Mm. Um, <laughs> Corey Coleman. He's gone now. Yep. I mean, and. You know, it, it's it's just they, been tough. It's been yeah, tough treading over they've there. They've had man. some good by it's been name tough treading up there, bro. Yeah. yeah, they've had some good by name. Oh yeah, oh they've picks. had they've had the yeah. all pro names team. Yeah, yeah, over the past twenty years. Yeah, yeah. put them put them all in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, yeah. give them all a gold jacket. Mm. The all pro, first team all pro name team. What is Tim Couch doing right now? I don't know. He's a. Uh, I, I think he's a. Uh, College analyst somewhere. That's possible. Yeah, I think he's a college okay. college al- analyst. Okay. Huh. All right. Okay. Well, he's, uh, doing, yeah. he's doing something with his life. Yeah. It's the Cleveland franchise. Yeah. yeah. That sucks. Their man. organization, yeah. uh, <clears throat> technically, makes really good. They pick up really good college football players, like the man type of college football players for sure. Mm-hmm. But they don't pan out in Cleveland. I think. Cleveland needs to kind of revamp some of the extracurricular activities they actually mm-hmm. do in the mm-hmm. city of Cleveland. Sure. Sure. Or is it like <laughs> is it like uh that Buffalo Bills player oh, said yes. that all there is to do is Buffalo all there is to, is do is to is hit that thing. Have hit sex. That's that it. thing. That's it. That's all it is to do here. I hit. could I could imagine that. Yeah. In Buffalo though. In Buffalo. Is it like that in Cleveland? KB. KB. Man, we I, need you to call in. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> we, put, we put you. Look, man, how y'all gonna do me like, you man, you see my wife? I got a wife and anything. <laughs> put me on it. It's my wife. I got, I'm standing here with my wife. <laughs> I'm a, I'm but a we, t- know, we know not for him. Of course, of course. Of but, course. you know, that's, no, that's just I'm going to tell you like Joe Keem Generalities. Noah. Yes, sir. I'm going to tell you like Joe Keem Noah said, what is there, what to, is there to do, do in Buffalo? In Cleveland. In Cleveland. What is there to do? <laughs> Go to the Rock and Roll Hall of Nobody Fame. Nobody said I'm going to Cleveland on vacation. Nobody. Never heard that. You can go to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah. What about that? Okay. Go up to uh, 
travel over to Sandusky, Ohio, and okay. go to the uh, to the uh, to the theme park over there. Yeah, for, uh, off of the lake. Yeah, but I think that's quite a ride though from Cleveland. It's Cleveland. What is, is like there to do in Cleve- Cleveland? Cleveland, Clevelanders, mm-hmm. give, give us, us a, a call. call. Yeah, <laughs> give us a call, man. Let We'd us love know, to hear Angelo from Senior. You. Give We'd us love a call, to hear man. from you, Angelo Senior. We'd love to hear from you. We want to know. Yeah. I want to know what there is to do in Cleveland, man. Mm. I really, really do. Mm. That's not at Quicken Loans Arena. Yeah. Or anywhere down there. Mm. What is there to do outside of the two major sports that you have there? Snowboard. In basketball because and the baseball. Because Cle- the Cleveland fans don't give up on their squad. They're no, there. no. They're, no, they're, they're super run. loyal. They're there oh, yeah. every Sunday. Yeah. Outside of your your three major sports that you have there, what else Despite is there Kim, to do? Despite Tim Couch in Cleveland, <laughs> despite Brady Quinn, wow. they're there. Brandon Wheaton. What else is there to do? Yeah, they're there. But you know what? You With their the, dog you, pound, man, you name and those everything. three names right there, and they were great college. Oh yeah, excellent, 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 excellent. So the choices, it was good choices for Cleveland to pick mm-hmm. those pick those guys up. I mean, but I think maybe they need to stop at quarterback and just really start really focusing on uh, the fundamentals, offensive okay. line, defensive line, yeah. and, and start there and then put some role players in there. Maybe maybe they can put some things around them. Yeah. NFL. Who's been, who's, NFL. Been there, who's been their coaches the past in the past? Wasn't um, I mean, Hugh, Hugh has had his Hugh's been there short, for four short years. Ten, short tenure. Um, uh, wasn't uh, of Man Genius there too? Yes, like yes, he was. Genius. Yeah. Genius. Man Genius. Yeah, see how that works out. Um, a Belichick, I mean, a Belichick Haley. disciple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah hmm. It doesn't always hmm. translate. Don't always translate, man. <laughs> it's dumb, man. It doesn't. It doesn't. It's not translatable. No, it's not. I mean, it, it, it sounds good, yeah. and it might work out for the first year. We we had we had we had a couple of. Uh, Greg Popovich disciples, you yeah. know, go off. Yeah, you know. How's it working so far in Detroit? Yeah, oh, I mean, yeah. you know, you had you had Budenholzer go over to, to Atlanta. They won sixty games. Yeah, and they got rid of him. Come on, man. <laughs> Don't always work out, man. You yeah. are not your disciple. No, you're not. You're not. Wow. Jesus had disciples. Come on, man. And one, one of them, and one one of them snitched, snitched on him. That part. <laughs> I was like, come on, One of them snitched on him. Come on, man. kicked right and out of him. he knew it. He knew it. He rubbed his feet and everything. Uh, he, it was premeditated on, snitch. snitch. That's what me, makes man. it worse. Yes. Yeah. When it's when you know you're going to tell. Yes. <laughs> you know you finna tell. Yeah. That makes it 10 times worse. Yeah. You didn't just get caught up in the moment and just get stuck. No, you knew all along you was going to tell. You going to tell. Wow. You knew the whole time you was going to snitch. Mm. How does that feel? Mm. Like, you knowing in your heart, I'm going to tell. I'm going to get this man killed. That's like me going to one of, y- <laughs> that's like me going to one of y'all's bachelor party knowing, knowing in my heart. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. That boy. <laughs> get out. Boy. Unbelievable! You got those people around, though. Don't oh, get yeah, too much. Oh, no doubt about it. No, no question. And no they question. live. Yes, they live for it. To tell another day. <laughs> 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 NFL football, man. We got a lot of games coming up on Sunday, man. Yeah, a lot of games. Yes, sir. A whole heap of them, man. But real quick, before ahead, we get into ahead, that, did you guys hear? I don't think we spoke about it last show, uh, but the. The man that did the in-game bet, it, it, somehow there was a glitch in, in a computer somewhere. And 750 to 1 Ugh. pops up. Wow. This is while Denver is driving. They're down, but they're driving. 750 to 1 pops up for them to win. He puts $110 on it and wins oh. about $84,000. But oh. whoa, 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 whoa. They refused to pay him. Why? <laughs> oh, it was a glitch in our system. Boy, stop. We didn't mean to Lawsuit. do that. Give me half. I'll take I'll settle for half. 
We didn't mean to do that. The old glitch in the system. The uh, old glitch in the system excuse. trick. Look, we got a caller, man. Yes, indeed, man. This is your guy, Dre Bailey, Goose Thomas, and Mr. Controversy himself, Bill Logan. What's your name, and what is your damn question, man? Yellow. <laughs> Yellow? Are you there, caller? Hey, hey what's up, fellas? Big Les, up, man. Les. Big Les, pick it what in up? the building. What's good, OG? <laughs> no, nothing much, man. Trying yes, to get ready to punch out on this clock in about five minutes. I yes, had to call real quick and uh, see what y'all was talking about, man. I caught a little bit of the show Yeah, when y'all was uh, kind of touching on the... Uh, the Mark Cuban thing, and um, yeah, yeah, I wanted to holler at you, Goose, yeah, about the interview because I didn't really see the whole thing. Boy. I just saw a little excerpts of it. Look, man, and I saw where he was kind of taking some ownership. Yeah, yeah, he you did. know when he bought the team back in two thousand. Mm-hmm. You know he, they had a lot of old employees that he brought over, mm-hmm. and they said the stuff was going on back then. Yes, under the old ownership, mm-hmm. and then it segued into the new ownership. Yes, it did. Yeah, which was yes, him. It did. Yes, it did. You know, yeah. and um, he was saying that he should have did more due diligence yeah. uh, since he took over as far as weeding out whatever, whatever was going yeah. on, um, the pornography, uh, the, yeah. the sexual favors oh, and yeah. sexual whatever else was, was going yeah. on, you know, cause yeah. he said a lot of stuff was brought to him by employees that he didn't know was taking place. Mm. Yeah. And, and, um, you know, and I kind of wanted yeah. to get your Go take ahead. on that as far as did he know it was taking place or look, look he look, didn't know look, or OG. OG and look, didn't do anything about it. You know, I'm kind of not getting it. Look, OG, if if you are the leader of a conglomerate and we just got through talking about this, we yeah. were just talking about it and we went small scale when we talked about Michael Vick and him not knowing or knowing what was going on at his home with with, with his with, with the dog fighting and the drugs. Right. But if you are right, right. an owner of a conglomerate as is the Dallas Mavericks. We can all agree that is a billion dollar conglomerate that's going on inside of another billion dollar conglomerate. Yeah, for sure. Right? Yes, if sir. you don't yes, know sir. what's going on inside of your billion dollar conglomerate, you should not be over that billion dollar conglomerate. I, I yeah, truly it believe that. Like he was pulling a, a Rick Patino kind of on me a little bit. Well, you know? well. Let uh, let let's to, to speak on that because I'm a I'm a big Rick Pitino guy. Yeah. Um, Rick Pitino knew what was going on. Yeah, Rick Rick Pitino right? might have been orchestrating that. That, that that's that's one thing. Rick that's Pit- the difference. Rick Pitino yes. knew what was going on. Yeah. Mark Cuban, like he said, yeah. he allowed, and I'm a, I'm gonna say this, and this is speaking from a business owner. He allowed those former right. employees before him to keep their job. Instead of just right. saying, I'm firing everybody and starting from scratch, he allowed them to yeah. keep their job. But when he did that. Which is that, he, a, is that a bad thing? That's no, not a bad no, thing. No, no, no. That's not, not a bad at thing not at all. all. That's not, not at all. all. But, that, but, that but what he did also was allow some of those bad habits to be brought Persist. in under his realm yeah. of yeah. ownership. Way into the new ownership. And right? Yeah. And he could mm-hmm. simply be just not as hands on, right? Yeah, yeah. As as a lot as a lot as of a lot of other ones right. are. Because I, I guarantee you, R.C. Buford know what's going on in San yeah. Antonio. Yeah, I can guarantee you that. Yeah. Oh yeah, no doubt. Yeah. R.C. Yeah. Buford no knows doubt. what's going on in San Antonio. Yeah, yeah. No you, question. You ain't getting nothing by uh, you ain't getting nothing by Buford. Yeah. I mean, even Michael Jordan knows what's going on in Charlotte yeah. for sure. He's, and, had, he's and, there. And, and in like today's this, climate, you I, have I to. I put it to you like this. Yeah. All the owners know what's going on now. Everybody's put on notice. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, thir- Thursday. Everybody <laughs> ran back down to HQ. Yeah. Everybody ran back down yeah. to HQ. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. What, hey. what y'all got going on up in here? What y'all yeah. doing? Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, exactly. No question. Yeah, yeah but uh, yeah, that's all it. I was calling for. I kind of wanted to just touch back on that because, yeah. like I said, I was at work, so I was trying to listen but it was a bunch of noise in the background so absolutely. i didn't really hear y'all take absolutely on what was going on and uh i got one more thing uh yeah. baker mayfield's one win away from tying uh mm. johnny Mizell for <laughs> most career wins in uh cleveland you know so wow let's wow, uh, cheer on let's cheer on baker <laughs> <laughs> wow well, well we'll we'll see man i need to see a full start from him <laughs> and i and i think everybody here at the desk agrees we need to see a full start from him i think 
I'm not going to oh, yeah. go out on a limb and just say he's the truth like that. No, yeah. no I need to no. see yeah. consistency from him. I need, I need okay. that output from him. I need multiple but you can tell, winning you seasons. Can ch- you can tell between the two quarterbacks. Yeah. Tyrod, who's a veteran. Sure. And when he came in, how relaxed he played. Sure. Sure. He played right. relaxed. Yeah. Nothing bothered him. Yeah. He was, I mean, to me, that should be your starting quarterback in Cleveland. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, at worst, give, give, him, give him a shot. Tyrod, real Tyrod quick. Is he gonna, looked um, bothered. Yeah. Is he going to go back to Tyrod as, as he comes off concussion protocol? Yeah, we t- we talked yeah, we, we talked we, about that also. I thought that the head coach, being Hugh Jackson, he should go back to Tyrod. Uh, but right. my compadres here say it's over for it, Tyrod. It might be over for him, bro. It just might. It just oh, might. Okay, I see. It just might. I, I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna. They're gonna throw that number one pick out there in the fire, man, and, and see what comes of it. I really do. Well, that's the only way you're gonna learn. It's the only Sooner way you're gonna learn. get out there. You're the number one pick. You're the number one overall yeah. pick. So, let them man. Browns. Let them Browns beat the Raiders. Raiders next year, next week. That, that's mm. I'm, I'm. He gonna be the starting uh, quarterback for the rest of the season. Mm. I, I think. John, and I think they'll yeah, win. I think yeah. John Gruden in, gets in his Oakland first too. Win. I think John Gruden Damn. gets his first win. Brother uh-huh. William might got a point there. He might got a point there. He mm. get that game. Mm. He's a he's the permanent starter. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. And that's a winnable game but for anyway, them too. Man, like I said, that's a winnable that's a winnable game for them. No doubt. You know, no so doubt about I it. I think if he gets it, like like William said, uh, Mr. Controversy himself, uh, <laughs> if he get that game, he's the permanent starter. Yeah. Controversy. Yeah. Be. <laughs> Let's pick it, man. We appreciate you always, <laughs> always chiming man. in, bro. My OG All right, right man, there, you, man. All right, thanks for taking my call, man. Appreciate y'all right on left. I'll be hollering at y'all at, on the page, man. Yes, sir. My guy, man. Absolutely, bro. Let's pick it, man. Let's pee in the building, man. Resident yeah. Cali, Hub man. City. Yeah, Hub, Hub City, City in guy, the building, man. man. Look, we got New Orleans against Atlanta. Yeah. In Atlanta. Yeah. Who you going with? I think I lost every game but two games last week. That's ridiculous. Give me the New Orleans Saints. In on Atlanta? The road, on the road. Um, you have um, Devontae Freeman out for the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, Tevin Coleman is going to be your main guy. Smith is going to be your backup. Him too. Yeah, it, it would be smart. Me, he's going to be I taking the bulk of the carries, him. and Smith is going to be, you, on, on, and he's going to be catching Atlanta. out of the backfield. Give me Atlanta. Give me, give me Atlanta in that game. Both of you guys, Atlanta. Yes, sir. Yes. I could have swore you said New, oh, Orleans, no, uh, uh, New Orleans. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Give me New Orleans. New Orleans because of, of what I mentioned. Them uh, those uh, those give guys being out. Huh. So I'm gonna go with New Orleans in that game. Yeah. On the road. Green Bay at Washington. Mm-hmm. That's a trap game to me. It could be a trap, <laughs> but I'm not gonna treat it as such, man. Young give me, Alex might have a me, game. Give me, give me, <laughs> give me the Green Bay Packers, bro. I don't think it's a trap. I don't think so. I think, I think in Washington, know, yeah, in Washington, in Washington yeah. give me them Redskins. So Chris, and Chris young Thompson. Alex. So Chris Thompson has to catch twenty balls this week. Young Alex, okay, pulls it out. Okay, I think I think he has a day. Mm-hmm. I think Alex Smith has a day. I'm gonna go with because I, I don't think that their their pass defense can can really can really stop him. But I don't think Washington can stop Aaron Rodgers either. Yeah, well, we'll see. So I right, think I'm gonna I'm go with Green Bay. I think uh, Green Bay bounces back from that uh, that game last week. So. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the Colts at Philly. You know what? This might be a shootout too. Hmm, really? I think so. I think this would be a high scoring game. Your mm-hmm. guy's supposed to be coming back though. Yeah. Yeah. Big red. Carson. Yeah. I wouldn't rush him back so quick. I wouldn't. Personally. I mean it's Especially the Colts. Bro. The Colts. It's a winnable game against the Colts, bro. You can win the football game. It's in Philly though. Give me the Colts on the road. Mm. That young luck, huh? Whew. Got you. E- I, that defense in Philly has been a little shaky, but I'm a Take the home team. In I'm gonna that take one, the man. home team in that one. Look, we got team. another caller, yeah. man. Let the ball bounce, man. Let us know what's on your mind. Uh, are you sure? Are Call. you not talking? Yeah. Call it, call it. There he is. We... <laughs> that sounds like I got Chris right there, man. What's good with you, bro? <laughs> oh, man. Just, just uh, tuned in the EDR a couple minutes before going to work. Yes, sir. Thought I'll give you a call, see yes. what's going on. Yes, indeed. What y'all all chopping it up about tonight. Yes, indeed, man. You know we talking NFL right now, man. We uh we 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 doing our game predictions right now. We uh 
We're talking about the the, the Redskins in, in, in Green Bay right now. Green Bay going on the road to Washington. I got them Green Bay Packers, man. What do you think about that game? It's the NFL. 17 out of 32 games have been decided by seven points or less so mm-hmm. far this year. Mm-hmm. Man, no one knows anything. The whole NFL is a crap shoot. Right. That's all we know. Yeah. All we, just, all we really know about the NFL is that Tom Brady and the Patriots might be the one or two seeds <laughs> in the playoffs. Yeah. And then everything else is a crap shoot. Right. Everything else is up the ground. Right. That's the only absolute truth in the NFL. Wow. Wow. Everything else is up for discussion. You can sure. answer, you can talk. But other than Patriots being good, what do we really know? What right. do we really know about anything? Yeah. Yeah, it, it's it's yeah. like like not- you said, it's all predicated on, on us, you know, doing what we do here and you know, on the page we oh, pre- sure. we, we predict, we, we try to we try to analyze to the to the best of our, you know, sports knowledge ability. And sometimes it just don't work out, man. No, it it don't. just don't. It just Tell don't work God. out all the time, man. It doesn't. Sometimes we're right, and then, and then we're made, you know, we, we call ourselves geniuses, and then the next week we take a dump. <laughs> like it happens every time. We have a feel. Yeah, we oh, just have a feel for something. A feel for yeah. something. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it happens every week. Yeah. Oh, tell me that. Yeah. Or are we not talking about the domination that is Alabama Crimson Tide? Oh man, uh, bro. We not, look, we 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 are spoke. Are we not seeing that? We spoke about it, man, and there's just no stopping <laughs> Tua. Look, I think Jalen Hurts should have should have. Yeah, uh, no question. He's definitely up for it. I think Jalen Hurts should have left after last season. Yeah. I really do believe well, that because he may not take another snap in the Alabama uniform. Uh, outside well, another meaningful so. snap. Another meaningful snap. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 100 percent agree. But yeah. you gotta think though, so. if you're gonna transfer off the last season, you have to sit out a year, mm. go through all that. But this year, he sticks to Alabama, he graduates, yeah. gets his degree, and then he's a graduate transfer. Sure. He can go anywhere he wants. Absolutely. That's there you go. Out. So this you is go. the best thing for him. Yeah. Best yeah. thing for him. Yeah. Now, get a get a get an L ring. I mean, yeah. whatever. He can he can do it. I mean, he can, can do his Russell them. Wilson thing at that point. He can be he can exactly. be Russell Wilson at that point. Absolutely. Exactly. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm with I mean, that. We, I mean, how long has the best we seen a team that's dominant? Like yeah. last week, they smashed Ole Miss. Right. Ole Miss is yeah. an SEC I, team. I didn't expect that. They have four star and yeah. five star guys. Yeah, yeah. So Especially at the receiver spot. SEC team. Yeah. Four and five star guys everywhere. Right. Yeah, everywhere, all over the field. And this is Alabama just walking in there, walking and through them, fifty on them, as if that's as funny. if they're not even there. Alabama's I mean, walking through these people. They're treating them like they were treating UNLV, right? Or or any other team. But yeah. this is a really good football team that they're just destroying, yeah. right? Have, I mean, how long has it been since we've seen this dominating of a team in college football? It's been a real Do long time. Do we go time, back though. to uh, the Trojans of Weinhart? Oh, right, right. Yeah, right. yeah we we, we would we would have to go back. We would have to go back there. Yeah, we the would. The U of Ken Dorsey, kind of poor. Yeah, U M Ken Dorsey, Sean absolutely. Taylor, Pete Sean Taylor. Yeah. Ooh. I was the gay he. <laughs> squads, bro. Squad. Super squads. Squad. And, and, and look, yes. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a Florida State fan. So you know this pains me to say this. But those uh-huh. UM teams, yep. Yep. The, the, despite, despite them playing in the Big East at that time, despite that, I'm not yeah. going to even go there. But despite them, them playing in the Big East, whatever conference they played in, those teams were dominant. For they sure. beat everybody that got put in front of them. And, the, the, like, convincingly, though, these were convincing oh, wins oh. that they put out. Oh, they so you can't deny their greatness. You can't. Yeah. It was a fixed job. They, they won that national championship. Yep. That pass their fans was not a pass their fans. Yep. I mean, hell, that golf line was so late. Yeah. They had the confetti on the field. Yeah. They had the newspapers <laughs> up celebrating. That's we right. won. We won. That's right. And then 20 minutes later, oh, there's a, there's a flag. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. That's that was, crazy. I mean, I, I, I still hold Miami as the national championship of that season. Yeah, no doubt about it, man. Yo, Chris. I mean, no one has, yeah, we, no one has come close to Miami, USC, and now. Both coming close to Alabama. Absolutely, yeah. man. We appre- hey, Chris, man, we appreciate you calling, man. We appreciate you chiming in, big dog. Uh, go ahead and, yeah, uh, and, and and get yourself uh, into no, work, man. I, I, I might be up there tomorrow morning, man, to to to, to put in a ticket, man. I got some I got oh, some picks, that's, man. That's, that's, that's great, but I'm off. I'm off. Sunday, oh, Monday, man, that's right. Okay, okay. All good, man. All good, man. We appreciate yes, you chiming sir. in, though, big dog. All right, man. Yes, indeed, man. Yes, indeed. Right. Big Chris Rhodes right there, man. Always yeah. a good caller, man. Always, man. 
Always so, thinking about uh, us every time we go to work. Yeah, yeah every time. Every time, <laughs> man. Uh, San Francisco at Kansas City. I'm going to go with KC. I got to go with the Kansas City Chiefs, man. I can't, even, I can't even be a homer in this. There's no way I can be a homer in this. Now, That's a what, three what, 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 really, what really jumps out at me at this is the over. You know the over is 55 Damn. in this game? So what's that? what that's telling me is that nobody's going to stop anybody. Yeah. That's what that's telling me. The point spread is six and a half. Or at least it started at six and a half. I mean, I don't, so see, for, so I don't for, see the 49ers putting up that many points. But right. but for Kansas City to be as dominant as they have been. Well, yeah. their defense can it's give up a, points. Been a little shaky. Yeah. Been a little shaky. Yeah, they, yeah, well, you know that. Yeah, yeah. Been a little shaky. You know, that, that showed against the Steelers. Sure. Yeah. You been know. a little shaky. Yeah. I mean, me, I, I, I mean. I would love for my team to win, but we'll be one and two after this week. Hmm. Buffalo at Minnesota. 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 Give me Minnesota. Minnesota. Man. Oakland at Miami. Give me Miami. Give me Miami at the house, man. I don't Miami. like Oakland going going Miami. going across the across the map. And what did I say I last like week? I don't like them. That I wasn't never going. Yeah, you to. said you weren't. You said you weren't. Don't you do were it. Never going to do no, it. I'm not. Don't I'm gonna it. go with the Dolphins at yeah. home. Yeah. yeah. Even though I think Oakland may get this game. Oh but, no! I'm, but I'm going with Miami though. Yeah. I just said I'm not yeah. never going with Oakland again. <laughs> Denver at Baltimore. Whew, it's gonna be tough. I'm man. gonna go with Denver. It's gonna be tough. I'm going with Young Keenum. Case it's going to be tough. I'm gonna go with Old Flacco mm. to get it done tomorrow at home. I, I think, got Denver. I think I think I'm Denver's to, defense is gonna be too much. I think I'm gonna have to go with the Ravens, man. Go ahead. I don't want to, but I Two think I have to. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. I think I have they gonna to put go young Ronnie Stanley. Yeah, the Vegas kid. Yeah, they are gonna put young Gorman Ronnie Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> Cincinnati at the Panthers. This is an intriguing matchup, man. I'm going with the Panthers at home. I'm going with Cincinnati. Give me man. Cincinnati, bro. Cincinnati. Give me Panthers Cincinnati. At Bank of America Stadium. Yeah. Cincinnati. Yeah. Cincinnati. The Giants at Houston. Houston, man. Houston. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, that pains yeah. those Giant fans yeah. too. Houston, They'll be what? Dog. Houston. I I think I think Deshaun oh, Watson has I think a Watson game. Deshaun Watson got got it. Deshaun got Watson it. has a game. Three hundred plus passing yards and three touchdowns. I think New for York Deshaun comes Watson. back. I think New York wins this game. Really? Okay. Because if they go down 3 yeah, it'd be bad. I think New York wins. It'd be this bad. Game. Yeah. I'm going with the Texans because I want them to go down over. Okay, as you should. <laughs> yeah. Tennessee at Jacksonville. I'm gonna go with Jacksonville in this one. Yeah, give me them. Uh, Jackson, give me them Jags, Lake. dog. Give me them Jags. Oh, dog. we play each other this week, huh? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. You got the. You got Young Blake. Yes, starting. I do. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I do. Look, I came to the light. I saw the light, Carolyn. Uh, okay. I saw the light, okay. Carolyn. <laughs> okay. Chargers against them Young Rams. Ooh, now this will be another intriguing be high, matchup. So I'm going to Rams. Another intriguing matchup. I'm give going me, to Rams. give me the Chargers. Give me the Chargers in a shootout. Yeah. Okay. Give me the Chargers in a shootout. Dallas yeah. at Seattle. Give me Dallas going. To 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 get some revenge, man. I think I think they go to to Seattle and eke one out. I, I think really do. I'm going with Seattle. Hmm? I'm going with Seattle. Dallas all. is a one and a half point favorite going yeah. in. I think. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. go with Seattle. Dallas. Seattle. I think Young. Seattle's uh, one and a half. Think, Seattle's the, the favorite. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, give me Dallas. Give me Dallas. I think Sierra's uh, uh, husband <laughs> uh, does his thing. Okay. Uh, Chicago uh, at Arizona. I'm gonna go with Chicago in this game. Give me the home team. Yeah, give me the home team. Give me the home well. team, man. Oh, it's Chicago, time for them, man. That, yeah. the Chicago's defense is really yeah, they're, good. They're, they're, yeah. they're special. They are. Yeah. They are. But I, I'll New take England at Detroit. One. Should we even talk about no, that? No, no. New England's gonna win by three touchdowns. New England <laughs> next. <laughs> Pittsburgh Monday at Tampa Bay. Mm. Give me that home team. Y'all gotta win this game, bro. I'm going with Pittsburgh. Y'all got to win this yeah, game, should. Dre. And I'm going to go with you guys simply because you, see, you have you to see, win the game. I didn't say nothing yeah. about the Dallas game. Yeah. You got to win. Yeah. You got to win. So, and I didn't even ask. Yeah. Yeah. You got to win. You got to win. Uh, so I'm going to go with the Steelers in this game. Okay. Yeah. I'm going with the Buccaneers. Mm. Fitzpatrick. Yeah. Fitz Magic. Yeah. One more week. LTBB in the yeah. building, man. Your guy, Dre Bailey. Your man, Goose Thomas. We got Mr. Controversy himself. Bill Logan in the building, man. Yeah. We appreciate everybody tuning in. 
to let the ball bounce sports talk radio show we man we yes, had we a do. great show today man yes, sir i want to wish you guys a great weekend life is beautiful life, life is, is literally beautiful. life literally. is beautiful literally life is beautiful yes it is big ups to gorilla cross um the uh 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 the net network yeah about to be the net worth the net that's what it is. Yeah, man. Why not? Why not? Why not? Make sure you also time in uh, to the unnamed sports show on Monday, yes. man. Yes, what indeed. time's the show, Quan? Won't you let? Won't you let the let the ball bounce? The listeners know what time the show is. Monday, every Monday at four p.m. Sorry about that. It's all right. I get my radio voice on, you know. <laughs> and every Thursday, yes. when life is beautiful is not in session, at two p.m. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Man. Right here on Gorilla Cross Radio. Download that app. Yeah, yes, download sir. that Gorilla Cross Please, app, man. man. Make Please. sure you listen to your guys, Dre Bailey, Goose Thomas, and Bill Logan, man, here sure. uh, at Let the Ball Bounce Sports Talk Radio every Tuesday, man, uh, from 6 p.m. to 7, 30 p.m. Pacific Coast time, and every Saturday, man, our spot, man, 2 p.m. to 3.30 p.m., man. I love it, man. I love it. Life you is beautiful. Gotta love Life it. is beautiful, literally. You got to love it. Wish everybody a great weekend, man. Be safe. Drink responsibly. Please. Call that Uber. Hang out with your, with your kids if you got kids, man. Cherish the loved ones that you have. Don't be afraid to tell uh, the people that you, 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 you're you around and, and you really care about that you actually uh, love them. Please don't be afraid. Uh, send me roses while I'm living. Straight yeah. up. Yeah. It is what it is. You dig? Yeah. And if you're scared, you better go to church. Tune in to Gorilla Cross Radio.